Coach Hart, uh, coming back off the road and then right back on the road again as you head uh, out a bit towards the east to take on East Tennessee State and uh, South Carolina Upstate this weekend. Uh, your thoughts on those teams? Yeah, we're very excited to hit the road again. Um, looking forward to playing East Tennessee on Friday night. Both teams um, have done some pretty good things so far, so um, looking forward to see how we'll uh, match up against them. Uh, and as we take a look back at, uh, at last week as well, the, uh, uh, the strategy for you guys, if you look at the stats, has been just pound the offense, pound the offense, but uh, not so much this past weekend. It, it seemed like defense was more the forte for you guys this past weekend. Yeah, uh, defense was huge for us. I think we started really aggressive against Mercer and Kennesaw, um, which allowed our block and defense to, to really do some great things, and, and that was key for us this weekend, um, especially when you play some teams that are stronger blocking teams. We need to you know, find another way to win, and I think that's what's really great about this team is they can do many things really well, and, and that helps us pull out some wins. Uh, taking a look again at, at those stats, uh, Holding Mercer to, uh, to, I think it was an 032 hitting, and then Kennesaw over 100 points below their average as well, um, uh, also hitting under 100 on their match. Uh, what do you think was the was the key in, in holding those good hitting teams to, uh, to such a low average? Well, I think first off was serving aggressive. I think we did a nice job of keeping them out of system, which didn't allow them to to run the offense the way that they wanted to. So that helped us tremendously. And then, you know, we have such a strong back row with, you know, some seniors and Anna Prickles back there. And um, I think they've all done a very good job of chipping in and everyone's doing their part to, to dig some balls. And our middles are doing a great job of getting touches on some balls to slow it down and, and help Kylie and all those in the back row make some plays. And then, uh, again, you mentioned it earlier, but the East Tennessee State, one of the, the top teams not only in the conference but in the country, uh, on the block. So uh, how are you guys getting prepared to uh, to deal with that? Well, I think for us it's going to be really important that we stay in system. I mean, we're able to run our fast offense only if we pass the ball well. So I think for us it's going to be serve receiving well and then making sure that we can keep our speed not only out of serve receive but in quick transitions and hoping that we can get um, some one-on-one -on -one matchups with our hitters. Uh, and I know we we're, we're, might be looking ahead at ourselves just a little bit, but uh, uh, Sitting on 16 and two record, uh, looking very, very uh, capable of picking up our 20th consecutive 20 win season. Did you ever imagine, uh, before the season started, that that would be a, a goal you guys could reach? No, I mean we, you know, we really don't even and talk about it or, or think about it actually. Um, but it is a huge accomplishment. I think, especially in our first year in Division One, we didn't really know how things were going to go and. Um, I think the team has done a great job of working hard every single day in practice so that we can execute when it comes time to on the court. And i um, just really excited for the team and really proud of their work ethic so far and, and looking to see uh, how far we can go. And then uh, uh, another note uh, regarding how well you guys have done this, this year, the first RPI rankings came out uh, earlier this week. You guys uh, sitting right about the middle of the pack in the nation and uh, second in the A-Sun. So uh, is that something that you guys have, have kind of kept an eye on and, and strived for this year? Honestly, I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so that's news to me. And um, I think that says a lot about our team. You know, back again to, to the girls. I mean, they've just done a great job all season. They worked hard in the off season and came in ready to play as we hit the four weekends for preseason. And I think that gave us a boost of confidence going into the A-Sun. So, um, you know, I, that's very exciting for our team. And, and I hope at the end of the season we can continue to improve on that and, and work our way up. But I'm just very excited for the girls, and they've done a great job. All right, Coach Hart.